everyone. Welcome to our home in Argelia's France. As you know, I have given house tours of our house in Malta and also Morocco, and so I thought um, I should show you around our place in France as well. Um, so it'll just be a quick few minute tour. I'm gonna show you what our house is like, um, and uh, I might show you a couple other parts of uh, the village too, just for fun. So I um, hope you enjoy. Okay, let's begin outside our home at number three impasse Condorcet in Argeliers. Um, we live right next door to my friend Danielle and her family and uh, right in the center of Argeliers village which has about uh, 2,000 uh, full-time residents. The nearest larger town is a town called Narbonne and it's about 20 minute drive away and has about 50,000 people in it. We've come in through the main foyer and through the dining room to our kitchen, uh, which is a great big kitchen, super easy to work in, and uh, also leads up to an outdoor eating area. We have now moved upstairs to the second floor, and this is the salon or living room, where we have recently spent some time watching the 2012 Euro football. The French doors from the salon lead out to the second floor terrace, which has a lo lovely view out to the um, canal. You can see the trees in the background. Um, there's a bit of a tree line horizontally, and that uh, is where the Canal du Midi comes through our jellies. Um, you can see the rest of our jellies in the background, and of course our pool and garden below. Next up on the second floor is uh, Capulet headquarters and of course we spend quite a bit of time in this room so we definitely appreciate uh, the inspirational view out to the canal and uh, also access to the terrace. This is a three bedroom house. This is the twin room. The main guest room is also on the second floor and has an ensuite bathroom. We've contributed some to the house decoration, like these prints that we found in an antique bookstore in Le Somai, which is close to Argelies. And we also discovered some historic prints of the Canal du Midi in uh, Danielle's collection, and so I've put them up throughout the house as well. Now we're up on the third floor, which is the master bedroom suite, and uh, it's in the old attic space of this uh, converted village home. Okay, now it is out to our favorite part of the house, the back garden. Let's start with the herb garden. Uh, we planted this garden with a lot of help from Danielle. And we used all the Mediterranean herbs and flowers that you see growing wild in the hillsides. So sage, lavender, rosemary, thyme, uh, lots of interesting grasses. Um, okay, the roses you don't see growing wild in the hillside, but I wanted to try my hand at that. Um, and a uh, great big veggie garden. This photo was taken when the garden was put in, so you can see how much it's grown in just a few months. And here's Darren putting in the veggie garden, which looks small, but has since become a jungle of tomatoes, lettuce, mint, um, and of course our uh, prize eggplant, which uh, is abundant. Next, we move over to the pool deck, uh, which is where we have been spending, again, lots of time, especially in the uh, south of France summer heat and um, and of course this looks back up onto the um, second terrace there which is where the salon and the office look out to and uh, there's Darren preparing to go for a swim. A few shots of Argeliers, the town square on market day and Le Chat qui Pêche, a restaurant down by the canal. Here is our red Citroën that we drive all over the south of France. And of course, life abroad wouldn't be the same without a cat. Um, this is our cat, it's actually Danielle's pet, but uh, he's decided to live most of the year with us. It's a bit of a hazy day here, but this is the view overlooking Argeliers and the Languedoc. The canal is a pretty big part of our everyday activities. Uh, this is the road that leads uh, down to the canal from our place. It takes about five minutes to walk. 
And here's the Athos. It's uh, Danielle and Julian's five-star hotel barge that takes up to 10 passengers up and down the Canal de Midi. They show them all the historic sites, take them for exclusive wine tastings, and feed them incredible five-star meals. We've been lucky enough to be invited aboard the Athos a little bit already this year, and uh, it's been a really uh, unique experience. We've enjoyed it. This is a really typical scene down by the canal. We have vines on the left and farmer's fields kind of running across the plateau. Uh, and then this is the towpath where we cycle and walk. It's called the towpath because uh, many years ago, horses used to uh, tow the canal barges. And here's the canal. Thanks for coming along on our video house tour. I hope you enjoyed it. We hope that uh, if you get a chance, you'll come and visit us in our geliers. We'd love to see you. A bientôt.